You know what would be really nice today? A glass of orange juice. So let me just see here. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Is this it? Oh, oh, there. Ah, you know what? I don't really want orange juice that much anyway. Uh, but I do think it's time that we organize this fridge, as it is, uh, <laughs> it's quite the mess. So let's get all this out and get organized. Hey guys, it's Tor here. For today's video, we'll be organizing and cleaning my mini fridge. What is this? Why are these in the fridge? Wow. As I'm sure you could tell, it was uh, high time for me to do a little bit of an organizing round here in the fridge. Uh, after I went shopping a couple of days ago, it was just so overfilled with uh, <laughs> products. Um, so yeah, I just want to take everything out and give the fridge a little bit of a cleaning here before we start the organizing process. Uh, we actually did a huge cleaning of this fridge about a month ago, so I'm just going to go over it quickly here and get rid of all the little stains that suddenly appear in the fridge out of nowhere. Uh, I also just want to wash the little glass plates and um, uh, stuff before we uh, go on. By the way, let me know what you think about this type of video. I know it's a little bit different from the ones I usually make, but it was a lot of fun to make it. So yeah, if you enjoy it, I could uh, make more in this, uh, this more uh, follow along uh, fashion. All right, so the first thing I want to do is to start to organize all different types of food here. So yeah, as you can see here, uh, the kitchen counter got filled up really full really quickly. I just wanted to put everything out so it would be easier to see the different categories, uh, so it would be easier to organize it. Alright, so this is all of my food here. Now it's time to get all of this stuff nice and neatly organized. And I'm gonna do that using this system over here. So I'm actually just gonna put these two juices back in the fridge because I already know where I want them. So that's the first thing done, it feels really nice. Alright, so I'm going to start by placing some of the uh, things that's kind of in the way back into this here, uh, area here, so that I can keep everything nice and organized and I know exactly what kind of things I own, <laughs> so I can organize thereafter. So these are all of my, um, my glasses and preservatives. So next I just want to check all the dates and what kind of stuff I have here. Because if I have some things that's expired uh, or gone bad, I want to get rid of it now before I start organizing the rest of the things here. Oh, expired, expired, expired. I'm finding some expired stuff, so it's just really nice to get rid of all this stuff before I start organizing. I have so much stuff for, for that mini fridge. Actually, if I was gonna buy the fridge again, I would have bought a much bigger one. I kind of cheaped out and went to the cheapest there was, so yeah, kind of a mistake, but uh, we'll make a nice system in here anyway. Alright, so now that I got things kind of organized here, I just want to start by putting some of the stuff into containers so that it's easier to uh, to see them. So I bought these plastic containers. They're similar to the ones that I had for the freezer, if you saw that last week. Alright, so I'm just taking these potatoes out of the fridge, uh, since I don't really have room for it. And uh, it's not so hot uh, in the room now that I need to keep uh, the potatoes uh, refrigerated, I think. So in order to make room for some other vegetables, uh, I'm going to take the potatoes here and put them in this little container here, so that I can make some more space in the refrigerator. Alright, so at this point I just wanted to kind of see how things would fit in the new containers and uh, kind of categorize things. Uh, kind of the fun of organizing for me is like the puzzle of it, to make sure that everything fits and uh, Making sure that the different categories uh, get along well together. 
So as you can see here, the onion is kind of uh, in a weird position, so I'm just gonna replace that uh, with, uh, with some other stuff here coming up. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in any of these containers, I will be adding links to Amazon. If you want to support the channel, uh, you can use the link to uh, purchase anything if you need it, of course. So I have a lot of berries and such, so I'm kind of experimenting with pre-washing them and uh, and not doing so to see how they hold up in these containers. So I will definitely give you an update to see how that turns out in the future. Uh, I also have a lot of rice and such uh, that are leftovers. So I have these glass containers from IKEA that I've been really happy with. So I I'm trying to use them for like meal prep and such. Um, it is a little bit of a small fridge, so I haven't been using them as much as I did uh, with my old bigger fridge. But uh, it's definitely something to recommend. Oh, and yeah, <laughs> this was today's blunder. Uh, I found it so funny that I had to leave it in here. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. So I bought this bigger box. This was mostly so I could have something to pull out the entire box. Because in that fridge, it's so hard to see what's in there. And I often had to dig through everything just to get one little thing. So I think this one's going to be a huge lifesaver for sure. Alright, so I guess it's just one thing left to do, and that's to fill back this stuff. Alright, so fitting everything into the fridge actually turned out to be a bigger challenge than I envisioned it to be, even with the planning I did beforehand. So I had to give it a couple of tries, take some things out and put them back in, but I think it was worth it in the end because I made everything so nice and perfect since I had a lot of time to think about this. All right, so I know this uh, was a little bit different than what I usually do. Uh, I'm gonna show you the results now, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump on over to the phone here and uh, let me show you. So the first thing I just wanna mention is that I took some of the kiwis uh, as well as some of the avocados and I put it on top here because I couldn't fit it in the fridge anymore. Um, also here are some of the root uh, vegetables that I no longer wanted to keep in the fridge due to space. I'm probably not going to keep it up here, probably going to move it down here with the rest of the potatoes and uh, my Coca-Cola addiction uh, station. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's see the big reveal here. Dun dun dun! Dun! <laughs> I think it speaks uh, very much for itself here. I'm so happy with this. So you can see here, I put all the vegetables in one place and some of the ripe uh, avocados as well. Uh, I wanted to split the vegetables out from the fruit so that I don't mix. Uh, also, I think the fruit is uh, better a little bit higher off. Uh, here on top, I have some uh, berries and rice and other things. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure about here is the, <laughs> this container for the mushrooms. It was kind of uh, too much, but... I think it's really cool. Uh, I decided to put in this box here because one of the main problems I've had with the fridge uh, is that it's difficult to reach into things. So now I can just pull it all out and I have it uh, all easy to reach so that I don't need to like pull everything out to get to the stuff. Everything should be in reach with just by just grabbing it. Ironically, the, <laughs> the orange juice is behind the mango, but everything else should be really, really easy to pull out from here. Alright, so guys, uh, if you like this, uh, please leave a big thumbs up, I uh, hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, if you like these types of uh, different videos, I will make more in the future for you. Next up, we're gonna have a look at the spice rack, uh, or yeah, I think the spice rack will be next. So get really excited for that. 